Since you journey with us on the path of eternal life, do not lead a stranger to the frail pilgrims who are charities and wish to share with you. During the merciful days of our guests, draw us into your grace, glorious, shower us with your kindness, lead us into the light and into the love, lead us ever further and higher into the splendors of heaven. Let nothing ever trouble our peace, nor make us leave without God. But let each moment take us further into the depths of the abyss of mystery, until the day when our souls, fully blossomed by the light of divine union, will see all things in eternal love. Our hymn is number 225. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is who was and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Move out in shadows of the night our way, radiantly glowing with the dawn returning, fervent in spirit. To the mighty Father, pray we devoutly. So shall our Maker of His great compassion banish all sickness, kindly help bestowing, and may He grant us of a Father's goodness, mansions in heaven. This may he grant us, God forever blessed, Father eternal, Son and Holy Spirit, whose mighty glory is through all creation ever resounding. Amen. shall be priests of God and of Christ, and they shall reign with him a thousand years. <clears throat> How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Your majesty is praised above the heavens. 
On the lips of children and of babes, you have found grace to foil your enemies, to silence the foe and the rabble. When I see the heavens, the work of your hands, the moon and the stars which you array, what is man that you should keep him in mind, mortal man that you care for him? Yet you have made him little less than a god. With glory and honor you crowned him. Gave him power over the works of your hands. Put all things under his feet. All of them sheep and cattle. Yes, even the savage beasts. Birds of the air and fish that make their way to the waters. How great is your name, O Lord our God, through all the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. They shall be priests of God and of Christ, and they shall reign with him a thousand years. You say that I am a king. Everyone who is of the truth hears my voice. The Lord's is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the seas, on the waters he made it firm. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord, who shall stand in his holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart who desires not worthless things, who has not sworn so as to deceive his neighbor. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him, seek the face of the God of Jacob. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher, ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, the mighty, the valiant, the Lord, the valiant in war. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher, ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is he, the King of glory? He, the Lord of armies. He is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, <clears throat> now and forever. Amen. You say that I am a king. Everyone who is of the truth hears my voice. We utter the Amen through Christ. To the glory of God. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, Praiseworthy and glorious above all forever. 
Blessed are you and the throne of your kingdom. Praise worthy and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim. Praise worthy and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven. Praise worthy and glorious forever. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. We utter the Amen through Christ, to the glory of God. I will extol you, O Lord, among the nations. Alleluia. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the highs. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his hosts. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise Him, shining stars. Praise Him, highest heavens, and the waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord. He commanded they were made. He fixed them forever, gave a law which shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth. Sea creatures and all oceans, fire and hail, snow and mist, stormy winds that obey his word. All mountains and hills, all fruit trees and cedars, beasts wild and tame, reptiles and birds on the wing, all earth's kings and peoples. Earth's princes and rulers, young men and maidens, old men together with children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he alone is exalted. The splendor of his name reaches beyond heaven and earth. He exalts the strength of his people. He is the praise of all his saints, of the sons of Israel, of the people to whom he comes close. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. I will extol you, O Lord, among the nations. He destined us in love to the praise of his glorious grace. Hallelujah. Praise God in his holy place. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his powerful deeds. Praise his surpassing greatness. Oh, praise him with sound of trumpet. Praise him with lute and harp. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise him with strings and lyres. O oh, praise him with resounding cymbals. Praise him with clashing of cymbals. 
Let everything that lives and that breathes give praise to the Lord. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. He us in us in love to the praise of his glorious grace. <clears throat> From the second letter to Timothy. Remember that Jesus Christ summoned of David, was raised from the dead. You can depend on this. If we have died with him, we shall also live with him. If we hold out to the end, <coughs> we shall also reign with him. But if we deny him, he will deny us. If we are unfaithful, he will still remain faithful, for he cannot deny himself. Forgiveness of their sins. 
in the tender compassion of our God. The dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine in those who dwell in darkness and a shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Magis der Bonne, quid vagiam, ut abeam vita eternam, digite Jesus, quid me Pater Noster, qui es in celis, sanctificet tur nomen tuum, adveniat regnum tuum, fiat voluntas tua, sicud in celu et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum, Da nobis odie, et limite nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitius, debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentazione, se libera nos amalu. Let us pray. May your grace, O Lord, we pray, at all times go before us and follow after, and make us always determined to carry out good works. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. O shining star of the church, who reflect the Father's light. light. By, by revealing, revealing to us the mystery of the word, word, the eternal fruit of his wisdom, source of all life and of all truth. O beloved disciple of the word made flesh, who at the Last Supper rested your head upon his heart, drawing the secrets of the Father's beloved Son in, and of the Savior of all. O beloved Son of Mary, who at the cross received the treasure of the heart of Jesus crucified, Thus becoming the witness of his wounded heart, we beseech you, despite our unworthiness, our weaknesses, our infidelities, to be our Father, that we may be true sons of the Father, living by his light and by the ardor of the wounded heart of the Agathos, under the life-giving guidance of the Spirit Paraclete, in Mary, Mother of Jesus, and our